most welcome uh, today tuesday uh, the 8th of march and uh, today we are doing uh, uh, genesis chapter uh, 18 and uh, let's hear what the bible says about uh, the son to abraham you uh, in chapter 17 we've had uh, a son has been promised to abraham so let's hear what is happening in chapter 18 and you read from verses 1 to that uh, 3. Thank you guys. Most welcome. Join my Facebook page, um, FM Martin the Source. Also follow me on uh, yeah, follow me on Facebook page, FM Martin the Source. Then uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's grow this mission of understanding the word of God together. Let's pray. Our near and everlasting Lord, we thank you and we worship you. Thank you for this wonderful afternoon. Thank you for your word. We need to understand from you. We need to learn from you, God. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'll read. A son is promised to Abraham. The Lord appeared to Abraham at the sacred trees of Mamre. As Abraham was sitting at the entrance of his tent during the hottest part of the day, he looked up and saw Three men standing there. As soon as he saw them, he ran out to meet them, bowing down with his face touching the ground. He said, Sirs, please do not pass by my home without stopping. I am here to serve you. Let me bring some water for you to wash your feet. You can rest here beneath this tree. I will also bring a bit of food. I will give you strength to continue your journey. You have honored me by coming to my home, so let me serve you. They replied, Thank you, we accept. Ab Abraham hurried into the tent and said to Sarah, Quick, take a sack of your best flour and bake some bread. Then he ran to the herd and picked out a calf that was tender and fat and he gave it to, the, to a servant to hurry to get it ready. He took some cream, some milk, and the meat, and set food before the men. There, under the tree, he served them himself, and they ate. Then they say to him, Where is your wife Sarah? She is there in the tent, he answered. One of them said, Nine months from now, I will come back, and your wife, Sarah, will have a son. Sarah was behind him and at the door of the tent listening. Abraham and Sarah were very old, and Sarah had stopped having a monthly periods. So Sarah laughed to herself and said, Now that I am old and worn out, can I still enjoy sex? And besides, my husband is too old too. Then the Lord asked Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Can I really have a child when I am so old? Is anything too hard from the Lord? As I said, nine months from now I will return and Sarah will have a son. Because uh, will have a son. Because Sarah was afraid, she denied it. I didn't laugh, she said. Yes, you did. You, 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 he replied. You laughed. Abraham pleads for Sodom. Then the men left and went to a place where they could look down at, the, at Sodom, and Abraham went with them, there with, with them to send them on their way. And the Lord said to himself, I will not hide from Abraham what I am going to do. His descendants will become a great and a mighty nation. And through him I will bless all the nations I have, choos I have chosen him in order that he may command his sons and his descendants to obey me and to do what is right and just and just. If they do and right and just, if they do, I will do everything for him that I have promised. Then the Lord said to Abraham, There are terrible accusations against Sodom and Gomorrah, and their sin is 
very great. I must go down uh, to find out whether or not the accusations which I have heard are true. Then the two men left and went on towards Sodom, but the Lord remained with Abraham. Abraham approached the Lord and asked, Are you really going to destroy the innocent with the great guilty? If there are 50 innocent people in the city, will you destroy the whole city? Won't you spare uh, it in order to save the, the 50? Surely you won't kill the innocent with the guilty. That's impossible. You can't do that. If you did, uh, the innocent would be punished along with the guilty. That is impossible. The judge of all the heart has to act justly. The Lord answered, If I find 50 innocent people in Sodom, I will spare the whole city for their sake. Abraham spoke against, again, Please forgive me my boldness in continuing to speak to you, Lord. I am only a man and have no right to say anything. But perhaps there will be only 45 innocent people instead of 50. Will you destroy the whole city because there are five too few? The Lord answered, I will not destroy the city. If I find 45 innocent people, Abraham spoke again. Perhaps there will be only 40. He replied, I will not destroy it if there are 40. Abraham said, please don't be angry, Lord, but I must speak again. What if there are only 30? He said, I will not do it if I find that. Abraham said, please forgive me my boldness in continuing to speak to you, Lord. Suppose that only 20 are found. He said, I will not destroy the city if I find 20. Abraham said, please don't be angry, Lord. I will speak just once more. What if only 10 are found? He said, I will not destroy if there are 10. After he had finished speaking with Abraham, the Lord went away and Abraham returned home. May God bless his word can hear what is happening now. God is uh, becoming angry with Sodom, but Abraham is uh, negotiating for these people. If they are innocent, there are 20 people who are innocent or that, uh, God is going to spare these people for, from not being killed. So may you not be among the people who, be per who perish when God comes to punish the, the, the guilty people. Shalom, shalom.